أعزائي المشاهدين يسرنا نلتقي بكم في حلقة جديدة ومتجددة من برنامج كفاءات الإمارات حيث نلتقي اليوم من دبي بالأستاذ أمير من راد إكسبيديشن مستر أمير it's nice to meeting you today and it's our pleasure and our honor also مستر أمير well uh, first of all thank you and your team for coming uh, here and it's our pleasure to have a chat and uh, discuss about the things that we do at Rod Expedition. So as you said, my name is Amir Rod from Rod Expedition and we are based in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. So most of the people, they ask what's the meaning of the expedition. Expedition is actually for the cars that are built for those who wants to see the adventure, who wants to go out and explore themselves. So uh, we build it based on their inquiry, on their needs, and if they need some help, we'll do it for them. So this is the part of the expedition. However, we do also a fleet section, which is for uh, the government and uh, building some of the hunting cars, some canine transportation cars, some prisoner cars, and some petrol cars. Yeah, I will let you explain about this more. But let me ask you firstly about your uh, story life or life story here in UAE. When you are start, when you start here, uh, about your investment, about your project. When you start, how you start, like this. Well, uh, our family came. I mean, with my dad and my family, we came to Dubai. It was 1985 that we came to Dubai, and during that time, it was really exciting for us to be in this country and uh, this hobby actually was there since long time ago and uh, we brought it to reality by 2017 we started this business by 2017 and before that we had other businesses and still running but uh, as they said whatever is your passion and your hobby you have to do it yeah. so me and my brother we started this business since 2017 and we are very much happy about it and uh, we see a lot of excitement things and exciting things in this job rod rod project or rod company this one what they are doing what you felt what your specialist you want to know more about it well uh the speciality is about those people that they want to see the adventure, that they want to go out with the family to have fun. I mean, now these days you see most of people, they sit at home, they just play with the iPad, PlayStation, social media. Now, during the old time, we didn't have all these things. It was just all family union and uh, much, much better environment. But as we, go farther we see that things are becoming very artificial so we said okay let's bring the things back to the families so we basically build the cars for those who wants to go out and have an see the adventure explore themselves traveling to different countries by car not by airplane and they want to go for example short trips picnics and this is one thing um, so it can be with the cars or it can be also a, like let's say a caravans or the motor homes or off-road trailers so these are the things that we do in rod expedition rod expedition is mainly for those who are really into uh, adventure and they want to see the reality they want to see the beautiful things not just to sit at home or in the office and play with their gadget that's it
understand now I can buy my car this is for adventure and then I will give it for you to prepare it for this adventures and for absolutely yeah. you just tell me that I want to have I have a family of four so what kind what kind of a car do you think that I should buy it so we suggest you what type of a car do you need to buy and then after that you bring it to us and you tell us what are your needs for example, some of the people, they say that, oh, I want to have the specific things with my family. I want to have these things on my car. No, I don't need this one. I, I need this one. And then we advise you with our team. We have a team that we can make everything for you and provide you the best solution. And whatever is required, we'll do it for that. Good. Uh, about your customer, they are from UAE also? Or there is uh, another... Well, most of, I, at the moment, 80% of our clients are from United Arab Emirates and 20% uh, is from outside, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, and uh, Oman. Gulf. Yeah, Gulf region. Mm -hmm. That they are coming and they, or they send the cars to us and we do the modification for them and we just send it back. The customers that currently that we are dealing with are uh, royal families and uh, United Nations because we built some of the cars for United Nations that is our for their uh, unique needs and uh, there are for also uh, Dubai police also and some other uh, hunting cars also for royal families these are the main things so when you say now it's a government cars uh, or a private car for the normal people they can, it's legal for them to take the car and walk in the street after we prepare it, after we finish it? Well, once we do all these modifications, we take it to the RTA, which is in Dubai, I mean Road and Transportation Authority. Yeah. They check the car for us and we make everything legalized and they put it in the system for them. You over the service? Yeah. yeah they put it in the system and they take the car. So that next time that they want to renew their car or something, when they take it over there, they check the specification and everything is okay, they'll pass it. If something is removed from the car, they'll ask them why it has been removed. So we have to inform them in advance again. But everything is done legally. Okay. There is nothing as illegal and we take every aspect into consideration. All the s safety and the security things. Can I ask you about your location here in, you in Dubai exactly? Well, uh, we are right now located in uh, Dubai, al -Quz industrial area. al -Quz. Yeah, al yeah. Uh, behind Golden Diamond Park. Good. Uh, your vision, there is something in the future, near future, you are planning to do it for? More? Well, uh, the future was, I mean, in 2019, we were really successful in the business. Unfortunately, with the pandemic of coronavirus, everything was being upside down. Yeah. So uh, the things were like delayed, but the vision still is the same, that we are going to grow by next year, hopefully. And the expansion will be in terms of the productions and uh, the other facilities that we are going to offer our customers. Uh, so uh, this year, as you know, most of the things has been put on a stop yeah. because so many things has been delayed. Even uh, we cannot also offer beyond the service because most of the things are getting delayed. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's not only for our business, most of the businesses, it's like a chain. Everyone is suffering. So we have to wait till 2021 and see what's gonna happen. But the vision has not been changed. We are for sure, we are going to expand the business. And however, since we are uh, the local company, as a 100% local company, and as a part of uh, Dubai SME, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, we are going to expand because we will be having more things with the government. Uh, so I don't want to, uh, say that uh, people will take it in the wrong consideration but rod expedition is two division one of them is an expedition division for clients that they want to have expedition and the other section is for a fleet which is for a government and big companies that they want to have their cars to be made with us
again for the changes of the car. يعني this changes, uh, let's say handling or uh, processing for the motors or only body, body of the car, tires. Uh, no, we are mainly doing the things to the body and the chases. The engines and the rest of the things we are not touching. And we do the modification based on the engine and the chassis that it can handle. Mm. There are some customers that they come and they say that I want to have this one on my car. We look at the car, we tell them, no, sorry, we cannot. Because tomorrow you will have a problem with the engine, with your, uh, let's say, gearbox, differentiation, and everything. So we cannot uh, do these things which tomorrow will make the customer to have a problem or have some issues. And also you have to think about it in the long term. You have to think about it in the long term. Uh, that when the customer comes to you, you should make them happy so that they come back to you in a second time. It's not that once they come to you, that's it. No. Every time a successful business is that you look into the future and you see how it can be handled in a best way. Having customers regularly is much better than having you know upset client and especially with today's social media if one client is unhappy you're totally dead because they can say it on the social media and that's it they can ruin your yeah. reputation yeah. but for us thank god that most of the customers that they come here they come back again with a happy face because we tell them that whatever you need we are here for you but these are the things that we advise you, and that's it. But I think you know, the, the changes which we're making, or you are making, it will not decrease the car prices. It will increase. If I want to sell it after that, it will be, this is a good addition, right? Of course. Again, it goes back to the person who wants to buy it. If the person who wants to buy this car and knows about the things that you put it on your car, it will have a value. Yeah. But the person that doesn't know, he will tell you that I don't need it. <laughs> Remove it for me. Yeah. We have cars that the value of the original car is around 150,000 with a full modification and everything has come to 800,000 dirhams. Mm -hmm. So there is a totally of different course, things. Yeah. So the people when they come and they ask, okay, what are these modifications? And you explain it to them. They are like, okay, this is fantastic. I'm going to have the same things on my car but not the whole package so i'm gonna have the half of it or one third of it so yeah. it depends on the customers on the customer. and what they were doing and this modification it take time with you depending on what you need what you want to do in the car for example i will get my car i will take it after one week after one month depending on your modification yeah. what is your requirement if you want to have fully modification, of course, it's going to take time. But some of the small things, no, it's not going to take time. We have like from two weeks up to three months. I'm depending. sure you have a good team also. Yeah, we do have a good team. Mm -hmm. I mean, a good thing happens with a good work and a good team. Yeah. Nothing can happen. I mean, one person cannot do anything. Of so we have a really good team that everything can be done from the designing, from the test, from welding, from everything. So we do the complete thing in-house. I can say 85% of the jobs are done in-house and the balance is done outside. So we make sure that everything is done under our supervision. And if something is not right, we replace it, it. Yeah. replace it. We don't rectify it. We replace you it. You will replace it. Replace yeah. it. Because I want, I think that the car which is for the customer is like my own car. Yeah. So. It has to be accurate. Yeah, accurate. Yeah. That's it. That is good. Uh, okay. Now let's go for uh, another part of our episode, the uh, United Arab Emirates. Why you choose United Arab Emirates? Of course, you have here an age for you, like 1995, you tell me. 1985. Oh, 85. UAE, what's UAE for you and for your family for these projects? The first thing in this country that you will find is a friendly environment. Friendly environment. You cannot find the same environment in Europe or US. We've been traveling to most of the countries and uh, I mean, we have seen the people, how they react to you. It's not friendly. Here, everything is friendly. Well, first of all, we should 
say thanks to our leaders, yeah. His Highness, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, and His Highness Sheikh Khalifa, because they made this country as one of the safest country. Right, right now, if my family are going out and they come back by three o'clock or four o'clock in the morning, I don't have any doubt or I'm not, you know, I'm not afraid yeah. because I know that my family will come back safely and uh, people they are very helpful in here and as we could see since 1985 that we are living here till now everything has been changed I mean if you travel outside and you come back within three months you will find new roads yeah. new bridges new technology and uh, I mean, it's a totally different environment. All those areas are upgrading, upgrading. Everything is getting upgraded and they want to be up to date. They want to be up to date. And where do you travel outside this country and you see that the leader of the countries are coming out without any bodyguard, without any security or anything coming in among the people and greeting the people and being friendly. It gives so, you more confidence, of course. Of course, it yeah. gives us more confidence. Of course, we, it will give us more confidence, and we would really be happy to be here. And uh, I mean, day by day, we see a lot of changes. Yeah. And the good thing about this country is that they respect whether you're a local, as an Emirati, or if you're a foreigner. Right. Yeah. So they give the same facility to both of them, okay? and uh, they pre i mean they do most of the things yeah. so people they know about it the only thing that currently we are facing an issue is that still people when they come for this type of a business or maybe some of the other businesses they think that if something is coming from abroad has to have more value than the local made yeah. no it's not true because you find in UAE most of the companies that they are manufacturing things which is more high quality and much better things than outside but that one is it's a totally wrong mentality so the local people or the majority of people that living in UAE they should respect and support more local businesses and more local production for this point, your material here is available always? Like I mean, to importing something. no, the thing is that most of the things, I mean, in terms of the materials, I can say that 50% available, but 50% you have to import it. 50% yeah. you have to import it. But aluminum, you can buy it here. Yeah. Metal, you can buy it it's here. here paint you can buy it here most of the things you can buy it here but the accessories which will be completing the job has to be imported from yeah. outside of course has to be imported from outside okay uh, the last question i want you to thank someone who helped you who support you from your family from your friend supporting of whatever he support uh, you know him or you want to thank him well first of all i should say that uh, Thanks to our customers that they really supported us till today and they are really kind to us and they are continuous supporter. This is the first. And second thing I should thank to our partners uh, um, that they supported us during the time that we were having this discussion and we told them that we have the vision and they said go ahead with it and uh, the last but not least the government the government of dubai they started supporting small businesses and they are trying to improve the things for us that's it Mr. Amir, thank you very much for this nice interview and really really personally i have good good points with you now and good interest i hope that you will be better and the best here in UAE for this fight well as i said from the beginning thank you so much to you and your team for ma making an effort and uh, keeping a time to visit us and we have this delightful timing thank you thank it you was pleasure sir <laughs> على هذا اللقاء الكريم معه واللطيف من شركة راد إكسبيديشن شكرا لكم وإن شاء الله لقاءنا قريب ويتجدد معكم